Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at length contraction. So let's get started. Now, just like time dilation, length contraction is another consequence of special relativity. It says here that in the same way that time is affected when objects move at very high speeds, so is the length of objects in the direction of travel. So here's our definition of what length contraction means. Length contraction is the apparent decrease in length of an object that is moving relative to an observer. But there's a special condition which is that the contraction of length only takes place in the direction that the object is travelling. So if you were to look at an object side on, then it would not appear to be contracting in length. So contraction is the opposite of dilation because contraction is getting smaller, whereas dilation was getting bigger for time dilation. So we're talking about lengths that can get smaller here, and again, they we're talking about apparent decreases because it's not necessarily decreasing, it's just appearing to decrease, according to the observer. And it looks quite similar to the one for time dilation. So it says that L prime or L dash is equal to L times the square root of 1 minus V over C squared, where L prime is the relativistic length as measured by an observer in a different frame of reference to the event. So if you're not near the event, you would measure relativistic length, and that would appear to be smaller than the proper length, and L is the proper length as measured by an observer in the same frame of reference as the event. So if you are next to the event or next to an object, you would measure its proper length. V is the relative velocity measured in meters per second, and C is the speed of light measured in meters per second, just like we had in the time dilation equation. It then says to note, we can also write the above equation in terms of the Lorentz factor gamma. So remember, we could write the time dilation equation as T prime equals gamma times T. Well, we can do the same, but for length contraction, but this time it's L prime equals L divided by gamma. And the reason we've got this is because we've no longer got a fraction on the right hand side here like we did for time dilation. We've got L prime equals L times this term. So because we said that gamma was equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus V over C squared, then we can rewrite length contraction equation as this, with L prime equals L over gamma. Because if we substitute in our term for gamma, which is 1 over this square root, then we get 1 divided by something in their fraction, which means the thing in the bottom comes up to the top. And that's something you might remember from maths. So we then have L times the square root term. So just to recap, L prime is the relativistic length of an object that you will measure an apparent decrease for if you're moving relative to the object, whereas if you're in the same frame of reference as the object, i.e. next to it, then you'll measure its proper length. Just to show you a quick animation to help you visualise this. So imagine you've got a car here and we're going to increase the speed of the car up to the, near the speed of light. So notice that on our speedometer we've got speed in terms of times 10 to the 8 metres per second. So if we put our foot on the accelerator and let the car speed up to near the speed of light will hopefully start to see some effects of length contraction in the direction of travel. So you can start to see the squashing of it there and it's getting smaller and smaller near the speed of light. Put our foot on the brakes, let it slow down, then you'll notice it's getting back to its normal length. So remember this is an apparent decrease in length of the object for an observer moving relative to it. It's not actually decreasing in length because that would be impossible. That's all from me folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.